Hi guys, welcome back to Goku 3D. In this video, we are going to implement Unity's cloud safe feature in our Unity project. So let's get started. So first, let's connect our Unity project with our Unity dashboard. For that, click on edit, project setting and under the services panel, select your organization and create project ID. But in my case, I have already created a project, so I will just link it to that. So now our project is successfully linked and we do not appeal to children under age 13. Now let's download the cloud save package. For that, click on Windows, Package Manager and under the Unity's registry, search for cloud save. Now here it is, click on it and click install. So now the project is successfully downloaded. Now let's create a UI for the cloud save. We will basically create an input field where we will fill in some data and we will create a load and a save button which will fetch and store data into the Unity server. Now let's create a game object in our scene and let me just reset it. Okay, so now let's create a cloud save script which will do all of the work. So now let's open the script and start some coding. Now let's get rid of this start and update and add a using unity.services.cloudsave, using unity engine.ui and using unity.services.core. Now let's create a text for our status and let's create a input field. Okay, so now let's create a async start for initializing our unity services. So let's write await unity services.initialize async. Okay, so now let's create a function for saving the data into the unity server public async void save data. Now before moving further, we should know that we can only store the dictionaries into the Unity server where one side we have a key and the other side we have a value. So for example, if you want to store a player's total coins, so for that you can create a key with the name of coins and in the other side you can pass in the 10 or 20,000 or whatever the coin the player currently have. And we have to do the exact same thing for all of the data that we have to store in the Unity server. It could be your player health, it could be your player experience. For everything, we have to create a key and we have to pass in the values. So keeping that in mind, let's create a variable data and store a dictionary inside it. And the dictionary would be a string and an object. And let's create a key and value pair. So for the data, we will pass in the input field dot text. And for the key, we can just simply write the first data or anything you like. Now write await cloud save service dot instance dot data dot force save async and pass in our variable data. So guys, before testing this code, I would like to tell you that we cannot save the data into the Unity server until unless we are authenticated. Because if we are not authenticated, Unity cannot recognize that the data that we sent to Unity belongs to which player. And that actually makes sense. So we have to be authenticated in order to save some data into the Unity server. And for that, you can watch my previous video. The link is in the description. In that video, we have covered all the aspects of login. And in this video, we will just use that script. So let me just attach my authentication manager to my main camera, which will help us in sign in anonymously. And now we can test our code. So press play. Now in the input field, let's enter some data like this video. Let's click save. Now let's check our Unity's dashboard. Now under the live ops and cloud save, click on find player. Now here we can see our player's token. Let's click on it. Now click cloud save. And here we can see the data that we just currently sent. Now we know how to save the data into the Unity server. Now let's work on loading the data. So let's create a function for that. Public async void load data. Now in this, we have to write await cloud saved service dot instance dot data dot load async. And here we have to pass the key that we have to find in the Unity server. So let's write new has set string and pass in our keys, which is first data. Now this thing will return a dictionary. So let's store it inside a dictionary in this server data. Now we can just simply print the data using the server data 
first data. Now it can lead to some error if the first data is not already present in the Unity's dashboard. So in that case, we have to check the dictionary that we get from the server actually contains the key that we want to print. So if server data contains the key that we want, then only we can print the data. So let's paste it inside the if and else we can just print the keys not found. Now let's press play and let me click this load button. And as you can see, we got the data from the server. Now we have completed the loading and showing the data from the Unity server. Now let's say if you want to delete a data from the Unity server. So for that, let's create a new function, public async void delete key. And in here we can just write await cloud save service dot instance dot data dot force delete async and in here we can just pass in the keys that we want to delete and other than that let's assume that we have now created a lot of data into the unity server and we want a list of all the things that i have saved then i can just print all the keys that are currently present in our unity server so for that let's create one more function public async void retrieve all keys and in here we have to create a list of string as all the keys are strings and let's name it as all keys which is equals to await cloud safe service dot instance dot data dot retrieve all keys async now with that we have all the keys that are currently present in our dashboard inside this all keys list so let's print each of them by using a loop okay so now let's save this and check that it is working or not and for that first we have to create two more buttons one for deleting the keys and other for retrieving all keys so let me just quickly do it now let's press play now first let's check the retrieve keys and here it prints the keys that is currently available in our dashboard which is first data now let's clear this and press the delete keys now hopefully it deleted the key and now if we try to press the retrieve keys it will print nothing now let's confirm this by going into our unity's dashboard so let me just reload this and here you can see no data items that means our key is now successfully deleted so that's it guys we have now covered the unity's cloud save service i hope you guys like this video and in the next video we are going to implement google ad mob ads in our unity's project so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching bye